effective defensive mechanism. What do you do? See it? Yeah, you just eat it. I find the behavior of predators utterly fascinating. R.I.P. caterpillars. What about you? Okay. How about we move you? Pop these. Now. Try this out. This plant seems to have had no reaction from the caterpillar. Alright. This one's shot. This plant seems to have had no reaction. I guess not. Then, yeah, you're gonna eat it again, aren't you? That back. The behavior of predators utterly fascinating. Pin. Uh, stab with pin. My word! It shot a spike at me after I stabbed it with a pin. I imagined that its reaction would be ferocious if I increased the strength of my attack. Let's do it. Oh, okay. My word. Yeah, nothing. What do you do? No reaction. And you? You shrivel up. Now, nope. no. Nope. It appears to have fallen inactive after being disturbed. All right, alkaloid. Alkaloid. You don't like that. Okay. This plant becomes inactive after being drenched with alkaloid. Pour this. You open up. It appears what? to open after being soaked with alkaloid. And this. What do you do? You close. This plant becomes inactive after being drenched with alkaloid. Okay. So that's all of them, right? I'm missing something. You're opened up now, so... Can you do that? It closed again. I believe I saw a small cloud of gas. I wonder what secrets this plant is hiding. Perhaps if we agitate it to a greater extent whilst it is opened, it will reveal a little more. I am interested in what might occur if the prickly plant should shoot at it. All right, let me open it up. Don't do that. Open it up. Well, I gotta move it first. Okay. Put it back. appears to open after being soaked with alkaloid. All right. Put this in the middle. Yes. Yes, put this in the middle. Now I gotta put a caterpillar on this one. Toxic gas with spores. Extraordinary. I would not feel safe doing this. The plants would be capable of killing only if they were directly next to the victim and stimulated at precisely the right moment. Let us take our caterpillars to the colonial collection room. We may see things more clearly there. It is too early, Watson. Our suspects will be there. Let us investigate Kew Gardens one more time and ask some questions. Okay. Fine by me. Deadly precision. Some deadly plants. I really think it was Hamish. Um, sex the um, scheme. The divine scheme left the plants at Kew Gardens in order to murder Montaigne Dune at a later date. Like they're not involved. Yeah, they're not involved. Okay. Anything else, actually? Albert is not very good at botany. It is doubtful, doubtful that he could have learned how the plants might release their deadly spores. Albert has the biological knowledge to stimulate now. Definitely Hamish. Guarantee it was Hamish. Anything else I can do? 
She does have the knowledge. Uh, White's lack of experience. This knowledge Miss White acquired at the university might not be enough to guarantee the correct reaction of the deadly plants. Miss White had the biological knowledge to stimulate the deadly plants. She did, but I don't think she killed her. Or killed him. It was Hamish. Had to be. She probably had the knowledge. I'm gonna go with that anyway. White killed him. She not. No, she didn't. It was Hamish. That lack of. Yeah. Now what? Or any more motive from Hamish? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she did kill her. Um, kill him. All right. Everything cool here? Yeah, everything's cool here. Going to Kew Gardens. Before Dune's death. Can you tell me if you saw Mr. Montague Dunn on the day of his death? Yes, of course. I met him, and we went to see Albert, his son, at around half past nine. He appeared quite calm. Your activity at that morning? What were you doing on the morning of the accident? After paying multiple visits to Albert, I had a little talk with Miss White. Then I returned to my desk to complete some paperwork. Suddenly, I observed that Mr. Dunn was not feeling well, so I ran immediately to fetch Albert. I clearly remember that it was around half past ten, for I was late that morning. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. All right, Hamish. You murder and double you. Day of Dune's death. Your father's death does seem highly suspicious. What were your movements here on that day? Suspicious? Well, I was working in the seed house, taking care of a uh, lyset, uh, something, or, or Lear, Pontus, or... No, wait. Ah, oh, these Latin names. And I spent so many hours trying to memorize them. Did you see your father that day? Yes. He came here with Mr. Hamish for his weekly visit. There was nothing unusual about that. And then? Nothing. They stepped out to the backyard. It was perhaps 20 minutes before 10 o'clock. Then about 10 minutes later, I saw my father heading for the dry tropics room while Mr. Hamish returned here. I should be paying attention, but I'm not. Other people's activity. And Mr. Hamish and Miss White, what were they both doing that morning? Mr. Hamish visited me a couple of times. I also saw him returning from talking with Miss White. And that was at 10 minutes past 10. But then he ran back here to me to tell me that my father was feeling unwell. We hurried across to the water lily room and I found my father lying dead on the floor. Oh my god. Albert Innocent. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Alright, let's talk to Miss White. Open up. And then go experiment with that. Open up. It's white.
The day of the death. Can you tell me what Mr. Dunn was doing upon the day of his death? I can. But there is nothing very special to say. I was in the laboratory when I saw Mr. Dunn heading towards me. Tuesday is the day of his weekly visit. It was supposed to be at nine, but he was ten minutes late, as usual. And then? Well, he came in to say good morning. Then I saw him spend two or three minutes by the plants outside the laboratory. After that, he ran out in the direction of the nursery, where Mr. Hamish was working. Mr. Hamish. He was always in a rush during the inspection, you see. I would pity anyone who stood in his way. The time of death. And that was the last time you saw him? Yes. I stayed in the laboratory until 20 minutes to 11, when I heard the cries of Albert and Mr. Hamish from the large glass house. I joined them as soon as I could, for I knew that something must be very wrong. What exactly were you doing in the laboratory? I was recording an experiment for my thesis. I only stopped my work once when Mr. Hamish visited me briefly around 10 o'clock. Your records? Uh, you say you were recording an experiment when the tragedy occurred. Might I listen to the role? Oh, certainly. Please do. You will find it in the laboratory. It is number 320. Okay, I already listened to it, actually. Sometime later. Everyone has gone, Holmes. The way is clear. Okay. I did listen to that already, right? Yeah, I did. Maybe. I'm gonna listen to it again. Move. Dude, I'll feed you to Toby. Taking the long way, maybe. Eighty different doors. All right, open up. This three twenty, right? No, it's not here. I didn't listen to it. Where is it? I miss it. Oh, right here. Three twenty. Cylinder records. Take it. Here it is. Alright. Photograph. Or whatever this thing is called. Phoneograph. These plants, classified as shrubs or grasses, have adapted to their arid environment due to a system of underground roots. This recording seems very long. It is unnecessary to listen to all of it. Miss White was in the laboratory, as she told us. All right, yeah, she didn't kill anyone. She didn't do it. All right, back over to here. There was damage, guarantee. All right, saving the room. What do we got here? Inhaling the spores. Saving the room. It's only two. I guess. So that and that. Then he tumbles down. When Montague Dunn was standing close by the plants, the caterpillars were released and caused the deadly spores to activate. <clears throat> Panicking and likely already half asphyxiated, Montague Dunn started back and knocked over the bust. He rushed to the door, but it was locked. He had to force it open with his shoulder. We already know the outcome. Montague Dunn collapsed and died not far from the pool. Well, it is time to perform our experiments on the ventilation system. 
That was really loud for some reason. Alright. I just got a blurs. The caterpillars could only fall from the ventilation duct. Our caterpillars are in place. I'll activate the ventilation system so that they fall down. Watson, stay here and observe. All right, Holmes. All right, I know where it is. I don't need to follow it. All right, yeah, it's telling me that they go all the way around the side. It's over here. Why not? One more door. One more door. There we go. Right over there. Power is on. Started. The engine cannot be started whilst the transmission is active. Oh, yeah. There we go. Start. The engine has started. Not transmission. The Start. ventilation system is working. Yes. Okay. Now we need to see if we can activate the fans from Mr. Hamish's and Albert's space. Okay. This change? No. Albert was where over here? Forget where he said he was. I just have had to follow the thing. way. Excellent. This ventilation fan is working. Let us see if I can activate the other one. Before I activate the fan, I need to check if the in Okay. I threw that around. Fantastic. Alright. This way. What's up? Now we need to see if we can activate the fan. Isn't that what happened? Do I need to go back over to that area? What's this all I'm to do here? I right, keep following the pipes. Maybe that was instructions. 
Alright. Just follow the pipe, I guess. What did you say? Before I activate the fan, I need to check if the interior of the colonial collection room. Oh. From here, we are unable to see the interior of the colonial collection room. Not that one. Okay. I get it. But you can see from here because of the window. Okay. Okay. We're ready then. We're ready then. Open up window. We can see the interior of the colonial collection room from this window. Okay. So going back, I guess. Makes sense. Wasn't that um Hamish's office anyway? I think it was. Back in for the eighth time. Okay. Now we need to see if we can activate. <laughs> All right. That was Hamish's workshop. think there's someone's desk there I don't remember whose it is all right this is image yeah okay so you can see clearly See the interior of the colonial collection room from this window. Yes, I know. Now, what do you want me to do? Close the window. It is Hamish's. That's for sure. If I go over to here, this is I'm not out there yet. I'm still missing one because this is actually White's desk. Think. Now this is Alberts. Yeah. This is Alberts, and you can't see. We are unable to see the interior of the colonial collection room. Perfect. Now I just need to find Watson to check the result. It works perfectly, Holmes. Bravo. Now, if you could just help me to get rid of these caterpillars. Perfect. Now we know how the murder of Montague Dunn was carried out. By activating both Albert's and Mr. Hamish's fans. But only from Mr. Hamish's workplace would it be possible to see when Montague Dunn entered the colonial collection room. Because... He was the one who told Albert, went over to his desk. So he pressed his press le um, lever thing, went to Albert's, told him his dad was dying or whatever, sick. And then when he wasn't looking, flipped the switch. Easy as pie. By the time he got there, he was dead. It was Hamish. Byron Hamish had the opportunity to stimulate the deadly plants in the colon colonial collection room. Biologist, he would have understood the technology, technicality of how to do this. All right, murder has been solved. It was Hamish. Martin Hamish could be the killer. He had the opportunity to steal the divine syndicate's plants and stimulate them from his workplace. Directly after he had locked Montague, Montague done inside the colonial collection room. All right. Effect to effect the arrest of Martin Hamish. Yes. Arrest Marin Hamish. Let's go to Scotland Yard. Let go. Everything is done. Yep, everything is done. Found the murderer. 
up with this? Oh, mystic. I need three more. Okay. It's calling guard. Dude, I am a genius. Or I knew it was Hammett from the very beginning, besides for the first second, and I thought it was the one dude with the you can't shave correctly. But I knew. I knew deep I knew deep down. Alright. I knew. Open sesame. Inspector, I believe that Martin Hamish is guilty of the murder of Montague Dunn. Aha! I knew it! I'll send the lads around to arrest him. You didn't know anything. Very good. I shall wait to hear from you. Sometime later. these long rides. It's amazing. You look absolutely dashing, Sherlock. Quite dashing. Inspector, I came here as quickly as I could. Martin Hamish is in the large glass house. There's no need to hurry. Okay. Let's go. Arrest him. Hang himself. Holmes, my God. Yes. We found him like that. Our messing around with the ventilation system didn't go unnoticed. Mr. Hamish I didn't turn it off. That we knew. Oh, I'm so bright. Inspector, could you arrange the body, please? I should like to examine it. Left it on. Alright. I'm a dumb. I am dumb. The mark around the neck is very visible. He died instantly. The letter. Confession. Life has become a living hell. I find it unbearable. Don deserved to die, but I cannot forgive myself for having its blood upon my hands. We Hamishes seem to have always fallen victim to our circumstance, and I find myself to be no exception. I must atone, and I shall do so here and now. Farewell. Little bitch. Give me your shoes. Left foot. Where's the dog at? Second time I heard that. Right, give me your shoes. Holmes, his left shoe is unique. This anomaly is often a characteristic of... A club foot. Bravo, Watson. That is the key element of this case. Alright. What up? Club foot. Hamish's confession. Martin Hamish was unable to run due to the... Uh, Tiber... Tabule torsion on his club foot, therefore we should find out if he has sufficient time to lock the door of the colonial uh, collection room and activate the ventilation system. Did he have an accomplice? Maybe White was an accomplice. Discuss with Lestrade the possible impact of nucleus found in the body of Martin Hamish. I really don't think uh, Albert had anything to do with this. It's possible, but I don't think he did. What was I doing? 
Let's drop. Something about this rings very oddly. Why do you say that, Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Why? Because of Mr. Hamish's club foot. Oh, I deserve to be kicked from here to Charing Cross. I should have noticed <sighs> it. But, Mr. Holmes, I can't see why. No, I don't suppose you do. You must recall that Mr. Dunn was locked inside the Colonial Collection Room by the murderer. If it was Mr. Hamish, he would have had to run up to his workplace to trigger the fan situated above it, taking into consideration the condition of his foot. Well, it is still possible. Perhaps, but it is rather strange that such a person as Mr. Hamish decided to base his plan on the speed of his gait. You mean to say that somebody helped him? Miss White. So the suicide is questionable? Correct. Mr. Hamish accuses only himself in his letter, and so the investigation stops. Possibly an accomplice, then? That idea had not occurred to me, Mr. Holmes. I have another idea, Inspector. Ooh. Thanks to the testimony Ooh. we have collected, we are able to rebuild the events as they took place that day. With a timeline, such as we did in the Jack the Ripper case. Precisely. The map at the entrance of Kew Gardens should help us with our timeline. Okay. Teleporter be there. Let us analyze the facts Is. and statements so that we may recreate the events of that morning. Okay. The map. Alright. We got, um... It's Albert, Hamish, White, and then the dude who died. Martin Hamish and Montague Dune went to meet Albert in the secret house at around half past nine. Would it be, would it be this? Martin, Mon yeah. Half past nine, so. Put them together, or not, I don't know. Albert saw Hamish return. Um, it was around 20 minutes to 10 when Hamish and Monica Dune went out to the backyard. Never mind. What was it, 20 to 10? So, between here. Um, backyard. Drag you? No. Martin, Hamish, and Monica Dune. What's going to be Albert? Oh, it's all three of them. These? Albert meets Monica Dune and Martin Hamish at the seat house. That's at 9.30. So it doesn't matter where I put these. How is the game so far? I mean, I'm liking it. I like the story. So I don't think it matters. 